Hi, in this video, I'm going to be going over the latest version of my dual crappy brakes speed controller. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. These are some of the new parts I used for this version. This is a circular marine rated directional switch. This is a section of 22 gauge six conductor wiring and you can get it in various lengths. These are the male and female connectors that you use and you can see the different colored wires here and the connector ends here and it doesn't matter which one you use on either the PWM or the foot pedal just as long as you use one of each. And as always all my connections are done by twisting soldering and then using either marine shrink tube fitting or some electrical liquid tape. This is a view of the overall parts used in the latest version of the dual crappy brakes speed controller. Here I'm still using the Plano 2400 box but here I have a 6 22 gauge connector and that is going directly in here where you can see I have the wiring in here and that's carrying the wire out for the potentiometer and the directional switch and I'll be doing close-ups of all these things after this this is a new updated Y connector it has an Anderson on one side and two of the XT60s on the other side here I uh, cut off the Anderson and, and used heat shrink ring connectors for the PWM and what's nice about this one is that all the wiring here is 10 gauge so it'll handle more current and then of course I've got the other two connectors for the motors this is a 70 amp circuit breaker and then over here I have my foot pedal which I updated with the directional switch here and what's really nice about this new setup is that there's no way to confuse any of your wiring I don't have to even label battery and motors because this is your motor setup and this is the battery setup so there's no way you can confuse the two this is an interior view of the box with the PWM and here are the standard connections you have your motor connections right here and the polarity doesn't matter and then you have your power or battery here and you have the positive and the negative negative. and you have two sets of three wires here coming out from the PWM both are red yellow and black and one of them goes to the directional switch and the other goes to the pot so when I was doing the reconnections with the six connector wiring cable I had to separate the two I was able to use the red yellow and black on the potentiometer and then I had to use a different set of wires colored wires anyways for the directional switch and I ended up using the green white and blue and then I just made a little note to myself in case I ever needed to rewire it how the new connections are and of course this is the other part of the connector that goes to the foot pedal so that's the setup in here this is a view of the updated foot pedal what I've done is changed and moved the directional switch here to the top cover plate of the pedal and when you decide where you want to put it you have to make sure you're going to have enough space for whatever switch you decide to use and as you can see here there's some gaps you can choose and then of course I went and used the wiring combination that I did before so the potentiometer has the red black and yellow wiring and the directional switch has the green blue and white wiring and then you can go ahead and just close everything up. 
So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.